guys, real quickly today, I wanted to share some information on what to do and what happens next if one of your LOL dolls is pretty defective. So in our case, we got one that didn't come with any clothes or accessories in the bag, and I'm not sure which one that was now because we've gotten some fashion crush since then, so none of them are naked now. But we had one girl with no clothes and no accessories, just her shoes and her naked body. And then we had Big City Baby here, which has a chip in her paint on her arm. She's got some extra hot pink paint on her cheek. And then she's got some little scuffs in her hair, but on the back she's got some really big noticeable paint chips. And I thought one or two of these things might be okay, but to have so many paint issues on one little doll, I'm gonna contact the company about that one too. So what you do is you go to the MGA website, they have a claim form, and you need to not only describe what's wrong, but you need to provide a picture of your receipt. And it has to be within 30 days since you bought the item and it can't be used or secondhand or anything like that or it won't count. But I submitted two separate claims, one for a confetti pop and one for Big City Baby here. And it took about two weeks, but I just got this padded envelope in the mail with like, it just had my address, not even the company's. So I had no idea what it was, that's why I opened it first. And they sent me this very polite letter. It says, thank you for contacting MGA Entertainment. We are truly sorry your LOL surprise product was not to your satisfaction. It is our intention to provide the highest quality products to our customers. Please find enclosed your replacement LOL surprise mystery character of comparable value, complete with accessories per our warranty guarantee. We sincerely appreciate your interest in our products and hope that you enjoy them for many years to come. So it's a little bit of a double-edged sword here. They sent us the Drag Racer Baby instead of another Big City Baby. So apparently they just have all these dolls and they're throwing them in bags in these little Ziploc bags to send out as replacements. So even though I contacted them saying, hey, we had the problem with Big City Baby. My daughter loves her. She's a color changer. Can you help us fix this at all? They didn't send me a Big City Baby. They sent me Drag Race Baby. So they don't really replace what you got damaged or shorted. They just kind of send you something of comparable value. And you can see even here like her paint is kind of missing in the back and it's a little bit sloppy around her bangs and her eyes scuffed up and I don't know if this was a return beforehand but her joints are really stiff too. Her arms are okay though. Yeah and I don't know if you can see it very well but up here around her thigh there's something like weird and goopy on the plastic but it's dry but it's just not very smooth like maybe they cut the plastic or something and rubbed it down instead of letting it do its normal process. And then in replacement of the confetti pop that was missing its clothes. We got this flower girl. I'm not sure what her name is because we don't have very many confetti pops, but I know this was not the one that we had messed up because I've never seen this one before, but this one looks like it's in pretty good shape actually. And I just ran off to try it really quick to see if either of them are color changers, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Overall, I'm really happy that MGA does have this program where they will make good and send you a new doll if you got something that's wrong with the one you paid for, but I do have a little bit of an issue with that comparable value part. Because yeah, these are comparable value, as in I bought a random ball at the store and so I got what I got, but if I had gotten like a really damaged pop heart and they sent me Drag Racer, I'd be kind of upset because that's an ultra rare for a fancy or popular, so it's not like I'd have very great odds of getting another pop heart very easily. But for future reference, now you know, if you get a doll that's defective or it has just way too many damages in the paint, or it's missing items out of the ball, you can get a replacement from MGA. They're not even asking for the Big City Baby back, so that's great. I feel like they've really done a good job of trying to fix a problem with their merchandise. I just kind of wish it was a one-for-one -one trade because now we have two drag racers and one damaged Big City Baby, but maybe we can paint over that. It's kind of hard with the color change, though. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you next time, family members! If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more, and let us know in the comments what other toy videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fan Girl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members!